though, here at home, high winds ripped through Scott City last night, taking down limbs and branches, even ripping some shingles off of the roofs in uh, one neighborhood. Uh, members of the Scott City High School football team joined in to help homeowners clean up the mess that these storms left behind. We caught up with several of them as they picked up debris on Yale Street this afternoon. Team captain Tyson Underwood says that he was not surprised when he uh, saw the damage left behind after he heard the strength of that storm moving through. You could hear the whipping of the trees and the whistle of the wind as it was going on and all the power went out or all around the same time. Uh, probably about 10, 10 o'clock last night, 10, 15. But yeah, it was, it was scary for a little bit. Now, according to Grant Dade, radar indicated winds upwards of 85 miles per hour that hit this area, leading to numerous reports of damage. He says it appears straight line winds may have caused all this damage in Scott City.